So we have made it to our first destination of today. We are at Wyatt's house, DJ Romantics. And now it's time for me to explain exactly what this gig is. So basically, he's the official DJ for the Albany Firewolves, and he actually asked me to help him with some sound stuff. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna actually post two different gig logs. He's gonna do more DJ stuff, and then mine's gonna give you a little bit more perspective of sound stuff, which goes back to my roots when I started YouTube, when I used to make videos on productions. So, yeah, we're gonna show you a little bit of that. We got some stuff in the car. We have my two ETX, going around four ETX tops and two ETX subs. My controller, because you need to borrow it, and some speaker stands, and a rock and roller cart, because we're gonna run, we're gonna bring two rock and roller carts. Loaded some more stuff, loaded his car. Got some stuff in mine. We'll talk about that one in a bit. We just got here, as I showed you guys before. We have the tops. I'm gonna show off the mixer rack in my video a little bit. There's your viewers know that eight percent of your viewers are not subscribed. What? Really? You gotta you pop up the subscribe. Gotta pop up the thing. thing. 80, 80 something percent of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys all subscribe, you will get good luck for life. <laughs> He's got his controller. We loaded his car up. Got the subs, and we need to. We need to get a little going. Uh, here we are, MVP Arena. It's a massive arena. They do concerts here. And of course, we gotta use the rock and roller cart to not break our back. So we're gonna go we're gonna go set up and we'll do a little tour after. Oh yeah, and if you guys didn't you guys didn't know, we're DJing an arena atrium party for the Albany Firewalls. He is the official DJ of the Albany Firewalls, which is pretty cool. We're gonna be setting up and providing sound for the pregame party presented by CDPDHP. And then we're also going to be playing music during the game itself, warm-ups, the pre-game, everything. Yeah, and so he's going to be posting a video. He's probably going to talk more about arena DJing. Then again, as I said, I'm going to be talking more about the sound stuff in my video. So we'll give you a unique perspective. And by the way, go watch his video. And his subscribers are going to come to my video. So... At DJ Romantics 518 on YouTube. What we'll do is we'll put um, Flash up on the top of the screen, the little thing where his video will be linked to this, so, yeah. And we have everything staged up. This is all of our gear. We have everything on wheels to make it nice and easy. Buy sandbags. Remind me to buy sandbags because you can use them for so many things. Way down trussing, you can hold doors open with them. See, that's one thing too. I was like, I keep telling everywhere. my, I keep telling myself, I need to keep some door wedges in my, like, in my bags. So we are here at MVP Arena. This is our lobby. This is where we're going to be setting up. And we're going to do a little time lapse action right now. So yeah, DJ Romantics is figuring out details about power right now. And yeah, we're going to set up. We got a lot of gear. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this rack we got right here. Um, I built this a few months back, or a few months, a few years. Um, we have a Fergan power conditioner up here, making sure everything is nice and clean. Turn on, make sure we can see everything. Phoenix uh, Pro PTU 7000, which isn't the best mics, but again, if you're doing like a wedding or something, we use a Sennheiser for sure. A little drawer. Over my like, skater makes this again. What I'll do is I'll put Amazon links to everything that's in this rack in the description of my video. We also have body packs, which are we have lapels and headsets for them, but we're not using it. 
down here we got router and batteries which I showed earlier and then the over with these are the headsets we got tan or beige and black and yeah I'll show you the back too so around the back we will have a patch panel up here which all of our stuff's patched in we have lines that go to the tops and the tops are just daisy chained we have sub lines both of them we did we made whips however this one's a nice nlfx one again i'll leave a link for everything that's in this in the description these ones we just took some tech flex and just um, sort of made a whip with it. and then we have lines that go to the controller and power con in it's one cable it's twist lock and once you twist it everything's perfect and then um, we've got a rack mount power strip. Um, I do not know who makes it, but the reason why we're doing this is for speakers, minus the subs, because I run the subs straight without going through a conditioner because it can trip a fuse or whatever. It runs into there and it gets clean power from that Berman. Below we have the uh, Behringer X Air XR18. And we have cables that run through the patch panel. It comes with this little brush plate down here. And again, so we're not unplugging and plugging stuff in. Everything's nice and easy to find. And since the patch panel's labeled, we know where everything goes. And of course, we have the antennas for those Phoenix microphones. And the reason why I didn't use the Destro is because budget. Usually, in a perfect situation, if you had more expensive mics like Shure's, you'd run a Distro box, which amplifies the antennas. Everything goes to one pair of half wave antennas. Or if you're doing some bigger stuff, Sharkman antennas. and also distribute, distributes power. So, yeah, it's a rack. It's a nice rack. So um, we just set up and uh, we have well, what's called an RTA mic. What we're gonna do is a quick room tune and Bits and Station actually makes this nice and easy. So the way we do that is we set up a mic. It's called an RTA mic. What the difference is between that and another mic is the mic records flat. So some mics have like a bias, some have like more of a high presence, some have more of a low presence. This one is totally flat and this should also be straight. So I send it, set it up in the center of the room and all we have to do is play the world's most obnoxious sound through the speakers. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn that on. We're going to use what's called auto EQ and it's going to take it since uh, the pink noise is a flat sound. The mic's going to measure where all the missing bits are. So that's what it did, is it took this and it basically created a curve to sort of fix it. So, so now, we're gonna see if that made it sound any better. Maybe, maybe not. So we're gonna turn off the pink noise, number one, hear that? And we're gonna play some music for it. And then adjust the ear. Pop up with something. What do, we, what do you want? Just grab anything. Actually turn that down because I don't like harsh highs or maybe give it a slight boost so it's detected there's way too much highs in the 8k range in the 2k so that kind of helped out with a little bit of the echo issues cool. so yeah if you 
you guys have a digital mixer, this is the one benefit you guys can do, especially when you're dealing with bigger rigs. Obviously, a small, like, tool ball 50s, you don't really need to do this, but when we do bigger stuff like this, I always like to tune my setup. So, yeah. DJ Romantics, there could be the little link in the top. We'll be talking more about the DJ stuff. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna link you to his video if you guys wanna see more about that in the actual game footage, because he also DJs the game in the arena, which is really cool. Go watch his video, go give him a subscribe. He doesn't have nearly as many subscribers as me, but he deserves every single one of those. So if you guys can go ahead and subscribe to him, he's got great content. His recent school video is fantastic. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell on both of our channels. Remember guys, 80% of the people who watch our videos are not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button, it really helps a lot. I wanna be able to monetize my videos so I can make 10 cents a video. I mean, realistically, that's probably all I'm gonna make because I'm playing copyrighted music right now. But anyways guys, See you guys in the gig, uh, talk more about it, and yeah. So we are all set up today for the Army Firewalls uh, pre-hand party. DJ Romantics is inside getting everything ready. I'll show you guys the setup. So we're running four ETX tops, three ETX bottoms, 18s. Trying out my new 360 camera, and he's using my, my 1000 with his laptop. It's a MacBook, and I already talked about the rack. And we got Phoenix Pro Micro. So that's it for today, and it's a simple but not too simple.
So Wyatt officially hired a new assistant. It's big and fluffy. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. We're done. Holy shit. They put way too much stress on him, and as you're gonna see, because I'm gonna send him the 360 footage I got. He did, so explain what they, what what uh, extra challenge they added to you. So, we've been doing this gig probably about six, seven, this might be our sixth or seventh game, I'm not sure. Um, and we've always gotten crazy compliments, always, you know, everyone's super appreciative. We even got compliments tonight, but halfway through the game, um, they texted us and they were just basically like, can you change a song every time there's a change in possession? And sometimes that happens in the middle of a chorus when the whole crowd is singing or something. Sometimes not, but it does happen frequently. Um, so it's just, it's a lot. It's very quick paced. So I had to think of a song every time there was a possession change. And that's sometimes every 20, 30 seconds. Those are the whistles. I kept hearing them. Um, so yeah, we had to keep changing the song, so it was a lot quicker paced in the second half of the game, which is fine. I just need to do a little more prep to make sure I have all those high energy songs that they're looking for, and especially that the team needs late in the game. But other than that, I thought the day was great. I thought it was a lot of fun. We got all our equipment out here. Um, it's time to go home. I've worked Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, did two gigs. It's time for us to go home, get some rest, get ready for next weekend. Pretty much non-stop from this point forward to the rest of the summer. Uh, no weekends off, and we're gonna be doing a gig every time we get a chance, every weekend. So, we'll keep uh, updating you guys on the gig logs. Make sure you guys check out my channel, because I know almost none of you guys from Nick's channel are subscribed to me. So it'd be super appreciated if you guys came over to my channel and enjoyed some of my content as well. Drop a like on Nick's video. Make sure you subscribe to Nick, because he actually told me, you guys won't believe this. What was it, 82% of the people yeah. who view your videos are not subscribed? So all most of the people who watch his videos haven't just hit that red button to help out the person that they're watching. So I just thought that was a little sus on your guys' part, you weirdos. No, I won't say that. But I thought that was a little silly, just that you know you guys have watched so many of his videos and you haven't subscribed yet? Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It helps him make more content and it helps get his content out to more people. So we'll see you guys at the next gig log. Take care. Thank you so much for watching.